Hi, welcome again. This is Ashwin. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, making a video right now of showing you guys how to actually access your Windows computer from the Notion Inc. Adam. We're gonna be using a software called Team Viewer. Some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, this software is not available on the market. You need to actually get to the Team Viewer website to access it. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to be providing a link to the website right on the description so you can just scroll down and get that. So, first off, you're going to need the TeamViewer server installed on your PC. This can be done on any version of Windows, XP, Vista 7. I currently have a system running Windows 7 on it. So, let me show you what to do. Uh, you just need to Google. Team Viewer. Okay. Once again, I still have not got my uh, tripod and cam back from my friends, so I'm still shooting videos by hand. So there is going to be a bit of shake. I apologize to people for that. Uh, so yeah, you're going on to Google again, the first level, and searching for Team Viewer. The first link is going to be Team Viewer Free Remote Access and Remote Desktop Sharing. Let me focus on it again. Okay, now click on Download. Okay, enough. You're going to go to it, goes on to download, and you're going to download all in one Team Viewer full version. Click on Download. Download now. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to download it right now. So once you download, you're going to get a Team Viewer setup icon somewhere around here on your desktop. And once you install it, you're going to get something like this. I'm not really going to show you my ID right now. So, yeah. Uh, what do I do? Okay, basically you're going to get your ID and your password displayed on that. And now moving on to the Adam. So, on the Adam, what you got to do is open up your browser and you're gonna go on to you're gonna do the same basically you're just gonna Google go, go on to Google and uh, and go to Team Viewer. So I mean Google for Team Viewer. Okay. And again the first link Team Viewer Now once you scroll down, you're going to get an option to download uh, the TeamViewer app. When you're running it from the Atom, that's the first thing that's going to come up. Okay, the, uh, download v6.0.140. Today is April the 8th and this is the latest version they have available today. So you download this. Uh, it's going to download on your bar. I mean, you're going to see it on the bar. Just got it down. You, you're gonna see it on the notification bar that it's downloaded. Uh, if you're not, if you don't see it, or you just missed it, you can open up Sniffer. For Mozilla, you find it under Adam Memory and Downloads. Scroll down. You're gonna see TeamViewer.apk. Click on it. Uh, select Package Installer okay and you just do the basic installation the APK installation that you usually do for any APK files so once you do that you're gonna get team viewer uh, that'll be the icon the team viewer icon uh, in your app list just select team viewer you're gonna be asked for your team viewer ID and password so right now I'm gonna take a minute off and get my password I mean my ID and password in and I'll be back in a second. Okay. Uh, I'm back. You just need to, once you've done, once you're done with that, once you enter your user ID and password and click on connect with partner you're going to get a 
page on a page dis describing how team viewer works you know how you try have you click the basic windows function how they're going to be on your tablet you click close and you you've pretty much got team viewer i mean your windows la what do you say windows desktop on your adam now see i can go i can do anything i want and okay that's reaper it's a decent series i'm just watching it right now and you can actually you, you i mean you can pinch to zoom select your browser and what's actually amazing about this is that it even lets you run videos to an extent i mean not great clarity uh or something and this is the video that actually inspired me to let people know that the atom can do this sorry it's just a normal scroll and tap to click i'm flipping around a three dimensional cad object on an netbook not something and the video is actually the quality is actually better than this you just need to go into settings quality and optimize for quality and not speed and once you do that and you should want to try by yourself at home you know no extra specs or anything on this netbook it's a standard AT&T Samsung netbook um, and we're running a full blown disoped uh yes yeah, so I'm not saying the quality is great or something but it's just that it's actually doable I mean if you want to check what is the video that you have on your PC you can do that and it pretty much lets you do anything you want as in with respect to you know clicks or double clicks um, okay now I just dragged it by mistake a double tap brings up the right uh, the right click and I'm gonna open this video with media player and I don't think it does audio whatever audio you're hearing is what's playing on my uh, speakers so yeah it's decent enough to do, I mean, to access your PC remotely and do whatever it is that you want to do. So this tutorial is just to let people know that the Adam can do remote desktops, and this is just not for Adam. You can do it with any, with, with any Android mobile, your anything running for you, I guess. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just ping me, send me a message, and I'll get right back to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.